Good morning, parents and students. Um, I'm here today because a lot of you guys have been wondering how you guys are supposed to submit your work through EDSB. Now, I'm not really talking about the quiz. A lot of you guys have been able to find that okay. I'm talking more about work like the survey, you know, the one with Microsoft Word on it. A lot of you guys have been wondering how you're supposed to submit that. So I'm here today to kind of show you guys how to do that. Uh, so the first thing you guys are going to want to make sure you guys have on your device or your computer is Microsoft Word. I'm going to show you guys real quick. So Microsoft Word is probably going to be the best way for you guys to submit any work you guys do for me. Um, if, you, if you're not sure if your computer or device has Microsoft Word, what you can do is log into Edsby, and I am using John's right, like right now. What you can do for me is when you log into Edsby, one of the posts I put, I think yesterday or sometime early in the week, is this link right down here. This link right here takes you to our school district website. What's cool is our school district offers Microsoft Office, which includes Microsoft Word, completely for free for all students. So as you can see, I went, it took me to the school district website. And if you scroll all the way down here, it'll give you a link where you can download all of these programs onto your device, which you can see includes Microsoft Word right there. Now, if your device already has Microsoft Word, even better. I'm gonna show you guys how you can use it later. But for right now, if you're not sure if your computer has Microsoft Word available on it, go ahead, go to the school district website, go to this link right here and follow the steps. It'll walk you through how to download it onto your device. So once again, that is the most important thing you need to do first, which is make sure your computer, your device has Microsoft Word on it. So we're gonna skip ahead. Once your computer has Microsoft Word on it, what you're gonna want to do is log into your EDSB account. Once again, I'm using Jean's here, so I'll show you guys what it would look like from your student's point of view. Um, click on my reading class, which is Mendenhall morning reading class or afternoon reading class, it's up to you. So as you can see, this is what the page looks like from the student point of view. What you're gonna wanna do, and I'll move my video real quick so you guys can see, there we go. Off to the side right here, you can notice that John still has not submitted his practice Edsby survey just yet. So what you want to do is go to submit. Now, even though you haven't done it yet, you can still click submit to access the document. What it'll pull up is this, the practice Edsby activity document right here. What you're going to want to do is click download. Once you click download, you'll notice this down here at the bottom. This is a Word document, meaning it should pull it up straight through Microsoft Word. Click this little arrow button right here and click open. And then you'll see the Word showing up on it, this Word document. And what you'll notice is you will now have access to this work and you can make changes to it. So I'm just going to pretend like I'm John for a second and I'm going to type in my answers. Ba -da 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 -da. Now, obviously, you would be typing in your real answers, but for the sake of this you know, video, I'm just showing you guys um, that you guys can make changes to it now. Once you click download, you can make changes to it. You can put your answers in and then da -da 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 -da, which the most important thing you're going to do next is click this little icon right at the top left corner here. You're gonna save it. You're gonna click save, and it should save it straight to your computer. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you save it. And in fact, I'll show you even better. Click save as, click documents. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you save this to your computer because this is the only way you're gonna be able to submit it. Um, practice activity for John. real quick sorry hold on bear with me there we go i'm um, going over to documents practice activity for john click save so once it's saved go ahead and x out of microsoft word 
You should still be kind of back on this page right now. If not, it's all the way off to the right. What you're gonna wanna do next is not click this again. Don't click this again. Go to these little papers right here. It says browse your computer. What this is gonna pull up is a list of all of the things you've just saved to your computer. So it'll pull this up, go to documents. You find the assignment you just worked on. Yeah, uh, practice activity for John, click open. And what it'll do is pull up your student's work right here. Now what this will do for me is when I log in to like look at the assignments you guys have turned in, I'll be able to see the work that John just submitted or you guys. So once that's done, it's completely submitted. What you're gonna do is go down here and click submit. Once you guys click submit, you're good to go. Your assignment's done. You can move on to the quiz or do whatever you else need to do. So hopefully that cleared some things up. Hopefully that made things easier. Um, like I said, just to recap, the most important thing you guys are going to want to do is make sure you guys have Microsoft Word on your device or computer. Um, if you don't have it, click that link on Edsby. It'll show you guys how to download it and divide, like download it onto your device. Um, the second thing is make sure that you click download on the actual assignment through Edsby. Um, you can make changes to it, add your answers to it, save it to your computer with your answers attached to it. And then once you guys have done that, go back to the assignment, upload your assignment through Edsby, click submit, and you guys are good to go. Um, like I said, if you guys have any questions or if this was too confusing for you, just let me, uh, shoot me an email, shoot me a text, uh, give me a call. Um, I'm here to help. So hopefully this cleared th some things up. Thanks, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.